Gautama, the Buddha, you heard of him? Hmm? Yes. Everybody heard of Gautama? Yes. So, uh, Buddha is not his name, his name is Gautama Siddhartha. He became a Buddha. So he is not the only Buddha in the world. There have been thousands of them and they still are. So Gautama was sitting in a large congregation of people one morning, an early morning, earlier than this, okay? A man arrived and stood there in the shadows there and asked this inevitable question, is there God? Gautama looked at the man and gave a clear, emphatic no. Here, this large congregation of disciples, this has always been a struggle in their, their mind, is there God or no God, is there God or no God? Oof! One big relief. Whenever they ask such a question to Gautama, he just becomes silent, he doesn't say anything. For the first time he gave a clear answer, no God. Joy spread across the congregation. Just the struggle is that God or no God is over. The enlightened one has declared there is no God. The message spread across the town. Through the day celebrations happened because just imagine the freedom of it. No God means nobody sitting up there keeping accounts of what you did and what you did not do to punish you, burn you in hell or do this or that. Life is completely yours. So through the day, celebrations happened. Everybody is in great joy. Age is passing. Little doubt has come. Suppose there is God. When I go there, will he leave me? And all these believers say that he's got all kinds of torture equipment up there. So because I went about proving to everybody that he doesn't exist, he may torture me much more. He knows there is no God. He's proved to thousands of people there is no God. Just a little doubt. Now there's an enlightened being here. He wants to confirm. So he appeared there in the evening and he asked the same inevitable question, is there God? Gautama looked at the man and said, yes. Once again turmoil started. Morning he said, no God, they were all really happy. In the evening he says, there is God. So what's the game Gautama is trying to play? See, if you believe there is God or if you believe there is no God, you are in the same boat. You believe something that you do not know. I believe this, you believe that, it doesn't make any difference. You can believe whatever you want. Yes? Everybody can believe whatever they want. It need not have anything to do with reality as such. If you see, I do not know, the longing to know will arise within you. If the longing arises, the seeking arises. If the seeking arises, the possibility of knowing exists.